So if you watch my upcoming Nintendo Switch games for the month of January video, which you better have, you would know that one of the games I was looking forward to was Empire of Sin for a variety of reasons. It's a mafia style game. You can see by the lovely title screen here, it takes place in a 1920s Chicago prohibition hit area. And you're basically trying to become the main kingpin and take over the area, flood the area with booze and brothels and things like that. And of course, this game was being done by Romero Games, which is John Romero's brand new new studio and this is his brand new studio's first game now if you're younger you might not know much about John Romero but John Romero was a very influential person in the 90s because he sort of transcended video games he was like the first video game rock star he sort of shedded that negative stigma about like nerds and stuff like that with like his long flowing hair his love of metal music of course him and the team over at id software created doom and he became a very popular person he ended up leaving id software he started his own studio he made Die Katana and that that didn't go super well that didn't go super well but over the years he's kind of gotten quiet and this is one of his first brand new games in quite a while so I was looking forward to it and it sucks man <laughs> it's it sucks so let's let's take a look at it one thing worth noting is the load times in this game are atrocious when you're first getting into it. This will literally take two minutes. I value your time. I'm not going to make you sit two minutes. So like the video for me simply valuing your time. All right. So here we are on the mean bustling streets of Chicago in the 1920s. And essentially what Empire of Sin is, you choose a character. Each character has its own strengths and weaknesses, but you basically choose a main character, which is my guy in the little hat here. You require or you acquire other people to join your gang and you basically try to take over different areas of Chicago. You can see here, we're going to zoom out. And this is just one of the areas. This is Chinatown. There's different areas that you go into. I've been playing this game for a few hours, so I've got a good Good grip of how it works it just doesn't work all that good the beige buildings are the buildings that our gang owns or are either gangs that we can take or buildings that we can take over we have the purple buildings which are reagan's cults and we have the north side mob in the green buildings essentially what you want to do is you want to become a huge mob boss so we've got a couple rackets going on basically what you do is you, you take over different buildings you turn them into hotels brothels things like that so people can get you know loose women and breweries and things and basically that that's what you do in the game there's the gameplay aspect aspect of it as well where you actually do the combat and whatnot which is very XCOM like we'll take a look at that in just a minute but here's here's the game in all its glory and you know it's it's not great you know there's there's hiccups in the performance the crazy thing is this is like post patch like there was a sizable patch that i had to download when i got this game and like this is supposed to be like the better version of it so i can't imagine just how rough this game was on day one now it is a 40 dollar game so you can't really hold it like super accountable like a $60 game but come on man like look at where's the frames of animation here like what's what's going on this is it's not a very pleasant looking game it's not a it's not a great running great performing game now there is this whole menu system here that I, I want to bring up very I hit the wrong button I'm always hitting the wrong button we don't want to fight random people in the streets all right, so there's this whole menu system here. With the different buildings you take over, you are obviously having to do different things with these buildings. So looking at our empire overview here, we can you know look at the neighborhood, we can see the different buildings that we own, and we could do different things with the buildings. You can adjust things like prices. You can adjust, th like if it's a brewery, you can adjust what sort of quality of alcohol you have, how many people you have guarding the area. I like that, but the problem is you have to do it for every single building. You can't just sort of have a general mindset. So like a conservative mindset, where you want drink prices to be you know cheap or you want to be an aggressive person and have a lot of guards at a certain area there's no way to just do a blanket sort of thing you have to have it done individually and some people will like that but for me as someone who's not you know super into these types of games usually who's more of a casual player of XCOM style games it's very overwhelming just the amount of menus in general are very overwhelming you of course have different menus for different things we have the alcohol info we have the finance info we have what sort of alcohol is being brewed and how the alcohol is we can adjust different things it's just like holy crap isn't there a more simplified thing you can do with this to make it you know a little bit easier for people who aren't really die hard fans of these styles of games but alas alas they didn't so let's go to our first area here. We are doing the Beer Baron mission, Homer Simpson with his little Beer Baron hat. And we have to meet Frank at the brewery. Oh, there's a new there's a new people here in town. What are you doing in my neighborhood? Says Cruella DeVille. Get out of here. I ain't got time for you. 
Ah, so Chinatown is now bustling. I'm going to take some credit for that. One thing that is nice about the game is you can completely zoom out and then just send people to the area you want to go to. So we're meeting Frank at the brewery, so we could just do this, and you can see that our little people are moving across the screen here. And now we're going to go to the brewery to do our main mission. Why can't I go in? Like, there's the thing about this game. Like, so many things are confusing. Usually when you're at this icon, you can just simply go into the building. But obviously they're, they're not letting us go into this building. Let's talk to Frank. So, like, here's what I'm talking about. I still cannot get into this building, right? But I could simply walk over to this building over here that has an icon. And there's a little door icon. I simply walk up to it. And now I'm inside the building. So why can't I go into this building? It's the brewery I'm supposed to take over. Like... I'm just going to shoot some people in here so you guys can sort of see the gameplay and how it works. I, I, I don't even think there's, like, any guards in here. Oh, there's a guard over here. Maybe? I, I like, feel bad. Like, who are these people? These these seem, like, decent. All right, so here's, here's a guard. So we're going to take out this guard over here. And you can see how the gameplay works as far as, you know, the shooting mechanics and things like that. Yeah, I don't I don't give a shit. Just kill this guy. And you can see, you know, there's action points. You're taking cover. You're doing things like that. And it's very XCOM style. You can heal your characters. You can, you know, choose different... Your different characters have different guns and things like that. Pretty basic stuff. But, you know, you can do quite a few things with it, which is nice. You know, let's take Grover here. Grover's undercover. Maria's moving around here. Like... Uh, it's it's an okay system i think it's an oak underneath everything is an okay game but the problem is we don't want an okay game and the fact that there's so many problems with the game just from a technical standpoint and it's so overwhelming it's just like what what happened here like i don't even know if like we just got too ambitious or we didn't know what exactly we wanted to do with the game but it's just it's not fun it's not fun. It's cumbersome. Everything about the game is extremely cumbersome. It is cumbersome to simply go into an area. It is cumbersome to set up your different characters. It is cumbersome to simply play the game. And, like, that that's a problem. You could do all the patches in the world to sort of fix up the graphical issues and whatnot. But at the end of the day, the core game itself is still just... It's, it's not good. There's there's not a clear division. There's not a clear direction of what they want to do with this game. And because of it, don't buy this game, man. Like, it's there are so many better games in this sort of style. You can even get games on the eShop for very, very cheap that are constantly on sale that are strategy games in this sort of style. The fact that this is a $40 game, this should have been at most a $20 game. And maybe I would have been a bit less mean towards it. But, you know, the graphics suck. The performance of the game sucks. The convoluted menu system sucks. The fact that you can't just streamline things and make it for, you know, a bit of a a less hardcore experience sucks and i get that some people will absolutely love how meticulous you can be but if the game itself isn't fun then you're not going to sit there and want to play the game to get to that point of where the meticulousness becomes fun the repetition becomes fun and because of that i'm just super disappointed with this game man like is has john romero just you know lost his touch like obviously this game was sort of rushed out there was a huge patch like i said on day one you could look at review scores for the game and it wasn't very good like i don't think anyone really sort of enjoyed this game but don't don't waste your money on this like i said there are so many good games on the nintendo switch eShop that are in this style you could pick up XCOM, you could pick up you know mario and rabbits and stuff like that phantom doctrine is a game in this style but you know empire of sin it's going to burn in hell for its sins because it's just, it's not a good game, man. It's, it's not a good game. So let me know in the comments section down below if you ended up picking up this game. And if you did, maybe you enjoyed it a bit more than me. But I can't recommend this game to anyone. I highly suggest you stay away from it. And I'm just, you know, I'm trying to save you guys some money. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, you know, this is pretty much just me ragging on this game for a while. Dude, God, why is the control just so finicky? At least we killed that person. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.